Okay, so the other side quest we thought about doing was he said there's some kind of something I need to do in the future about machinery. Sun Palace? Okay. Son of Sun. What? Okay, we might have found something here. Roulette Shuffle. That doesn't sound good. I hope you don't like ice. Because I have the strongest magic caster ever with ice ready to go. Also, ow. That hurt. This should do massive damage if he's weak against it. Okay, well. This is going well. Oh good, he counterattacked twice with flare and then used flare. Feels good, man. Oh, do I get to play or are you just gonna kill me like that? Let's see how it is. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even get the move. Alright, so, uh, don't attack him. That's what we learned. We learned, do not attack him. Attacking him is bad. How did I never run into this? I guess I really haven't checked the future very much. But I know I flew around here trying to find that, uh, that dome forever, and I somehow never ran into this. Or either I did and he just wasn't here or something. Anyways. Okay, so it's something to do with the fire. I need to, like, attack the fire. Aha! Blackmail. Any counterattack. Ah, man, that just rips Chrono apart. Like, Chrono does not like that attack. He just gets absolutely destroyed by it. Oh my god. This guy is not screwing around. Please don't counter attack. Okay. <laughs> if he counter attacked my counter attack, I would have been uh, a little scared. Survive. Oh my god, Chrono just gets absolutely destroyed by everything this guy does. I don't even know if I can keep Chrono alive, to be honest. Okay, so I need to guess, like, which fire I need to hit, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's going to allow me to just use, like, Ice 2 and hit them all. I could try it, but I'm going to get flared. Just pick one, I guess. That was not it. Oh boy, 50 health. I wonder if I can actually follow that with my eyes, or if it's just random. Okay, just out of curiosity, what happens if I use Ice 2? Don't die. Let's see what happens. Okay, thanks. 
Am I gonna at least hit the right one? And then get, like, counterattacked into oblivion? No, it healed all of them. Hmm. Maybe they always heal from magic. Maybe I gotta physical attack them. Here's what we do, guys. Instead of helping in chat, we just type it into a Microsoft Word document. Then print it out and rub yourself with it to make you feel a lot better. Okay, well, first things first. Chrono needs some god dang magic defense. Because he is just getting absolutely destroyed. So, uh... We're gonna give him some magic defense, maybe. Maybe not, because none of this gives magic defense. Oh, this absorbs fire, though. Big dope. That's the one right there. Uh, you'll probably be fine. And then you can get red vest. That'll, that'll do it. If flare even counts as a fire attack though, because in normal Final Fantasy, flare is not fire, but in this game hopefully it's fire. Okay, that's still a miss though. Aha! Okay, well that, that helped. Okay, there's no way I can follow that with my eyes. Plus it like flips at the end, so there's no way to tell. Okay, good. So all I gotta do is heal Marley and we're all set. God dang. Really gotta get lucky, huh? So far, I am very unlucky. Very unlucky indeed. Don't... Don't spin yet. I only got two more to try. Aha! Oh my god, that was like a classic... Classic sound effect. So good luck following that. <laughs> it's the left one. Alright, we'll see. I'll try left. You're right. Nope. No, my left. <laughs> Stage left. Oh, it's the top one again. Well, the question is, can I hit it twice? Does he immediately, uh, flip it? Keep attacking! No! What if I got that in in time? Nope. Uh... 
Even if he uses the I beam on Ayla or Chrono, I just get the healing back from all these fire counterattacks in Flare. So I'm pretty much invincible. I gotta keep Marley alive, but that's it. Why is it always the last one I try? Is that like how it works? Or is it really random and I'm just terrible? Because <laughs> it's always the last one I try. Ow. I'm <laughs> just terrible. That doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me I could be this unlucky. Dude, this is the third time in a row? No, fourth time in a row. This is the fourth time in a row that it's been the last one I checked. <laughs> wow. How can one man be this unlucky? See you, comic. Finally! Got it on my first try. Now I can actually do massive damage. Unless he roulette spins again quickly, but... I think he roulette spins based on turns, so I should get like a bunch of turns to hit him now. Losing its fire? You're dang right you're losing your fire. Oh, there goes this fire. Oh, he's out. Isn't this the ancient sunstone? But it no longer glows. Maybe we'll regain its glow if we keep it in the sunlight. Might take a while, though. I know what you're saying. I get, I get the idea here. So... Maybe I don't have to check every single one. Maybe I just gotta put it in the, pe the past and then check it in the present and the future. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if there was a move you could do to uh, hit some of the fires, but not all of them. I didn't know if it would work or not. I was thinking about trying uh, Falcon Hit to try to hit like one line, but it worked out, so I didn't worry about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Hit all of them and then pay attention to the one that doesn't counter. That's smart.
It's not here. The moonstone is gone. It's been gone for ages. Let's check another time. Okay, so I do have to check every time. Does that mean, like, someone's gonna steal it in every time zone? <laughs> that would be a uh, disaster. Oh, it's still here. So maybe not every time zone. I wish we could spend more time in the Dark Ages, because the music is amazing. If it's stolen in the Middle Ages, I'm going to be real upset, okay? Because, like, everything happens in the frickin' Middle Ages. I'm sick of the Middle Ages. Why is it shiny now? Oh, because it's getting shinier, that's why. Alright, so it's not the Middle Ages. Maybe Lavos took it in 1999. We go to 1999, he like pops out of the ground, he's just holding it, and he's like, hey, hey I got your stone. Alright, it's gotta be here then. Yep. So somebody took my stone. Who took my stone? Well, given that nobody in this entire world has a plane, at least I don't think they do, I would figure it's somebody with a boat. And don't these guys down here have a boat? They do. Also, that house is really shiny. Possibly suspicious. <laughs> what the? Everyone says daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? Yes, definitely lying. Got a white vest. Got a black vest. Alright. By the way, I also need to check uh, this white mail I got. Or no, I already had white mail. Black. Didn't I get. Am I crazy? Didn't I get black mail? Maybe not. Oh, you know what? I stole it. And then I died. So now I don't have it. Wait, wait. Oh well. Uh, okay. Well, you have the prism dress, so you're all good. Okay. At least I got the black vest, so I can still absorb shadow hits. I just can't absorb 100% of shadow of shadow hits. I haven't really fought much that uses shadow anyways. Okay, so, uh, question. Why is your house so goddamn bright? Moonstone, never heard of it. Dad loves money more than he loves me. <laughs> Yikes. The person I hate most? My dad, of course. Good lord. <laughs> I've never I've never met such a dysfunctional family. And they're just like totally they're just living here. They're just happily living here in their nice home, but they just hate their father. The children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. Good lord. Man. I tell you what. Feels bad. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that I actually need to go back in time and, like, make this guy not a jerk. Somehow. But I don't know. He would be dead. But I don't see the moonstone anywhere, so... Is it in the fridge? Like, I don't see any way to get the Moonstone. So... I might need to go back in time and do something.
400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. Okay, that helps with that quest. Now I have an idea where that is. I'm the Piano Man. Play a sad one, Joe. Something upbeat, please. Okay, this guy is a piano wizard. How do you get the drums to play on the piano? What a legend. That was one piano. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful music. Okay, so... Hmm. See, I can never find out if, like, I have everything I need and I'm just missing something, or if I need to go get something and come back. That's always the problem I have. To me, it looks like. I have no way of getting the Moonstone at the moment. Because I don't see any... secret... you know, things anywhere. And talking to these people isn't doing anything. So I feel like I gotta do something. What, though, is the question? Boy, 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 boy. Hey. Oh, you're just in time. This is my finest work. Nice. I don't use your daughter, though, so rip. So what is this whirlpool? Oh, that's right. We got shot out of that before. I remember. Gotta check out the festival. No time to talk, I'm just sitting down for my lunch. In other words, walking around in circles. Hey, it's a cat. What in the world is going on over here? I don't remember this. Jurassic Rhythm! Catchy rhythm. Use the X, Y, L, R buttons to dance. After pressing the B button and dashing here and there, I'm pooped. Oh god, there I go. What? What? <laughs> what in the world? What is going on? We're all, we're all smacking our butt. We're all smacking our butt in rhythm. And then getting shocked and then laughing. I am very confused. I'm getting out of here. Dance, dance, trigger revolution. Robo does the robot. I expect nothing less. Let's go to Kronos' house since I know where it is now. Exciting. Very exciting. Gracious, who are you? Me, Ayla. 
Ayla, a young lady doesn't dress like that, dear. But Ayla, like, say yes, ma'am. Chrono's strong. Chrono mother's strong, too. They better not screw with Chrono's mother. <laughs> She'll give you the business. Came of the cathedral, uh, it exploded. That's what became of it. <sighs> hmm. What would I have to do to get the mayor to not be greedy? Take your goods. Something inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the object. Okay. Why didn't it just give that to me? Tab. Yeah, I just find these like everywhere. What's up, Chrono? Chrono Cloud. What a great name for today, seeing as though we're playing Chrono Trigger and then Final Fantasy VII. Your name is perfectly fitting. I don't know where I would find the ancestor of the. This guy? Looks similar, but I already helped him with his son being goofy. My next goal is to command the super legendary spaceship XRRX. Okay. Does he grow up to be another square character or something? Okay, well, let me put a pause on that for a second, because I want to meet this Fiora person who talked about saving a forest to the north. Where would that be, though? Other than to the north. <laughs> None of these are forests. Truce Canyon. Is there something I can do at Truce Canyon? What a happy occasion! Let's get crazy! like there's anything to do here, but I'm going to check it anyways. Because I might as well. Pretty much every place I've checked so far has ended up something, so... Might as well check everything. And this place isn't super big, I don't think.
Yo, God level one. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Holy guacamole. Thank you so much for the support, my dude. Must not backseat. Good luck. If you don't backseat, then you're already winning. Like, over 50% of the chat. So, congrats. <laughs> I can't imagine there's anything at the cathedral, but... Why can't I land? Land. 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 Am I pressing the wrong button? I am. You seem so mysterious, yet you're not useful ever. the forest, right? Music makes me want to put on heels and go grocery shopping. That I can't I can't say I uh I got the same feeling. <laughs> can't say I agree with that one. checked all these houses yeah I'm pretty lost on these side quests to be honest I don't know what this I don't know what this northern forest is I've checked every forest what is this what is this oh this is that place with no name I don't think I have anything else to do here right he did all that. I still think that's like a... They screwed it up and then it's supposed to have a name. Uh, I mean, he tells me he tells me what the quests are, but he doesn't help. Oh, the name actually shows up after you do something. That's interesting. I mean, I already did that that area though, so it's funny that I already did it. Um, it's funny that I already did it, and it's still not showing me the name. Okay, there's no forest to the north. This guy's full of crap. Like, unless it's this forest, which I don't think it is, because this is nothing. I mean, there's this forest, but, like, this forest is not... this again. I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm definitely missing something here. 
I mean, the forest shouldn't even be there yet. Because she prayed for it to be alive. But it's not like I've seen anywhere else that looks mysterious. Okay. In the Middle Ages, a woman's sheer determination brings a forest back to life. Okay, so this is why I'm confused. The guy in the present said that 400 years ago, a woman prayed for a forest to come back to life, but it didn't. But he says in the Middle Ages, a woman's sheer determination brings the forest back to life. So did she do it or not? Or is the quest to help her do it? Maybe the quest is to help her do it. And the guy in the future is saying it didn't work because I haven't gone back to the past to do it yet. So if that's the case, then I'm not looking for a forest. I'm just looking for the woman. But woman in the Middle Ages does not help me. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where she could be. I know her name's Fiona, and that sounds familiar. I probably talked to her once like two weeks ago, and now I don't remember who it is. There's a task to be done in the future where machinery originated. I still don't know what that is yet. And I need to figure out how to get the sunstone back. And then I have no idea what to do with the knight. One of you is close to someone who needs help. I don't know who that is either. I was thinking maybe Luca's dad or whoever that is, but that didn't that didn't end up anything. Uh, maybe it's someone from Ayla's tribe. That could be something. Is this Fiona? Aha! Okay. I remember now. This mystic seedling could revive the forest, but I can't plant it. Too many hungry monsters lurking about. I already went into the desert. There must be something else to do in the desert. There must be more down here that I don't know about. Back to the desert! Yeah, I remember now. I remember, like, wondering why her name was Fiona, because it's a weird name. But I fit. I, I, my brain wasn't thinking about her, because I figured I already did her quest, because, like, her husband came back. So I thought she was, like, done. I didn't think she had more to do with the do with anything, so I, I, she didn't even register as a possibility in my head. Now here's the question. If I rescue this forest, What's in it in the future? Is there something that helps you with another side quest? Or is it just like, I go there and there's some treasure or something? Is this Chrono's house? <laughs> Man, my house really is, has looked better. I need to clean. Sand everywhere. Monsters. Nice carpet. Interactive carpet. I have gift carpet.
I still love Chrono's Victory Dance. It's just the best thing ever. Alright, took two steps. Good stuff. Fantastic. Massive damage. Oh, yeah. I love having uh, Marley be like a magic, super magic uh, caster. It's so useful just for wiping out mobs. When I don't want to fight him. You have a 35 second delay? That's a lot. Shouldn't be that much. Most people on the stream get like one or two second delay. What was that? Uh, a demon? They make forest into desert. But how can one find a monster that roams the inner earth? I don't know, run into it or something? Take all the goods. Muscle ring. I think I know what that does. Oh my god, bigger plus six. That's actually more like for staying alive, though. I think I'd rather have the rage band. Counterattacks are really good. What's up, Chopped On? Good to see you, man. Oh my god, it's him. So energy from its core. Okay, so it's got feet, a core, and a head. I need to figure out what I want to attack. Or if I just attack all three. Okay, magic does not... Water hardened sand. Defense power is down. So wait, that made his defense lower? Should I do it again? Holy cow! Okay, magic is not the way to go. Runs away when the core is lost. Runs away. Defense power up when attacked. So I need to keep ice in it. Ice it. Put on ice. I don't know if I can steal from this guy. That's probably shadow damage, actually.
Booyah. Yeah, I have a uh, triple tech with these three. But I'm currently trying to, like, keep damaging him and keep using ice to keep his defense down. So I'm not using the triple tech. Why Ayla go sleep? Ayla tired. Ayla need nap. If you could stop healing, that'd be sweet. <laughs> Ayla want taste sand. Sand snack. Ayla used to eat rock. Now taste sand. I feel like they chose water to work on this guy because two characters have water, so the chances of you not having water in your party would be pretty low. Because if you fought this guy without water, it would probably be really tough. <laughs> I love Chrono's death animation. It really actually looks like he's taking a nap. Also, I did not want her to die. I was totally okay Chrono dying. Marley dying is not good. He's never done that much damage. Suddenly, just like, smacked me down. Crap. This is bad. I can't get... Uh, Marley to a point where she can be alive. Yeah, we might be toast here. I'm not gonna be able to keep it Marley alive. that. I was fine with Chrono dying, but Marley just kind of died out of nowhere. He had only been doing like 100 damage, so I figured she was safe, and then suddenly he just like smacked her up. Uh, where are we here? I think I just put the Sunstone in. Yeah. And then I basically just wandered around doing nothing for a while. So I don't think we lost any, uh, Anything. Uh, I think I think we need to re-pick up the items in the Middle Ages. Let me do this just in case they need to see this. I don't think they do, but Can you run away from the battle? I'll test it. My guess is no, but I'll test it. I'm an idiot. Where's the sand? Bottom left. back in order here. Uh, 
so I'll give you that. Give you that. I think that's everything. Should be good. I could potentially give somebody shadow protection because I think that laser beam is shadow. But it doesn't really do that much damage anyway, so I'm not too worried. Final Fantasy X actually has my favorite battle system of any game I've ever played. Um, the fact that you can always see who's attacking and you have an actual really good grasp on uh, when when you're at a, when you're gonna attack yo bunker think about that 10 months in a row appreciate it my man only two months away from that beautiful red materia badge thanks so much for the support dude Hope you're doing well today. Um, the fact that you know how your attacks affect the ATB bar. Like when you choose an attack, it'll actually show you in the ATB bar, okay, this is going to cause you to attack after the uh, opponent during the next phase. Um, really just opens up like limitless possibilities of different strategies and stuff to use. Um... And the fact that you can switch your characters out during battle means that you actually care about all your characters most of the time. So it's just, I, I, out of any game I've ever played, RPG-wise, it's the it's my favorite. I think they really nailed it perfectly. Um, in terms of the actual game's balance, some things are a little broken. So I wouldn't say it's like the best ever in terms of the actual mechanic. Like, what are, like the the fighting in general maybe isn't the best ever but the mechanics are the actual way that the mechanics work is the best i've ever seen but there's stuff like you know aeons are super overpowered um quick hit is super overpowered in the original american version um and stuff like that like there's definitely stuff that could have been balanced better but in terms of the actual mechanics, it's the best I've ever seen. It opens up so many ways to play the game, and, and it actually gives you the opportunity to uh, have strategy. Something about Final Fantasy VII is like, yeah, there is a lot of materia, and yeah, there is a lot of strategy, but nine times out of ten, your casual player is just going to spam attack. Because the way the ATB works is the faster you put in your inputs, the more attacks you're getting off if you're playing on active. So, or even on wait if you're not in a menu. So a lot of casual players will just try to play quickly and not really worry about what they're using, but more of just trying to get off their attacks quickly so that they do the most damage. Um, in Final Fantasy X, it's nothing like that. In Final Fantasy X, you can really strategize every single move and actually see how it affects the ATB and, and use that to your advantage instead of just trying to, to be quick about it. Um, so yeah, it's just... that That's why I love it so much, but... There's definitely some things in the game, you know, that make it not the best game ever made, but in terms of mechanics alone, it's my favorite. It's also my second favorite game ever, for other reasons as well, but that's my that's my little spiel about that. I wish there were more games that were like that, but a lot of games that have an ATB bar that shows you are also active, so it's like hard to, to strategize as much. These enemies are a lot tougher than I thought. They're being jerks. I have not played Bravely Default, so yeah, they might have borrowed it. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's also the problem with Kamari and him pretty much sucking. He either sucks or... Oh, Bryce with the 2,500 bits. Holy cow. Thank you so much, my man. It's time for a new bit badge. Congrats, my man. What does ATB stand for? Active Time Battle. It was something uh, invented in Final Fantasy VII, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VII was the first ATB game. Um, it was a way to make turn-based more action. 
So instead of just strictly being every time it's someone's turn, everything stops and you pick what to do and then that and that he does that thing and then the next person does a thing, ATB is a way for it to be turn-based and yet you still need to act on a timer or else the enemies will get to attack first. So everybody has their own bar that fills up and then once it's full, you can choose an attack and other people's bars are also filling up at the same time unless you set the game to wait. Um... So, that's why they call it Active Time Battle. Okay, Final Fantasy IV did it before seven. See, I'm not super familiar with four, five, and six, so... If they did it before seven, that was my first... My first, uh... ATB system was seven, so that's why I said, correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be wrong. I should have known that though, because I played 5 quite a bit, but that was a long time ago. So. Get the chest. Oh. I got stuck on the chest. I think Square invented it, but I might be wrong. So many great RPGs came out during that time that it's hard to distinguish like which ones did what. So let's do... Oh, nice miss. It's like sand and impossible to damage. It's so weird that the core just dies like almost immediately. I almost feel like there's some kind of thing you can do keeping the core alive that helps. Because the core just like gets destroyed. I might try final kick actually. While we're still at a nice health spot. Plus Marley has haste, so he'll she'll be in here real quick. These counterattacks help a lot because they deal damage and they don't increase his defense. Ah, Final Kick doesn't work. Because it's technically has magic on it. I was hoping it would still work because the magic was ice, but... Yeah, sounds like Final Fantasy IV was the one. So yeah, ATB started in Final Fantasy IV. For those of you that never got to have a Super Nintendo and skipped to the PlayStation, Final Fantasy VII was probably your first, uh, first understanding of the ATB system. Man, they killed Marley again, didn't they? Wow, unbelievable. He keeps picking on Marley. I can't wait until we do get to play 4, 5, and 6. Out of anything I've ever, like, done, 4, 5, and 6 are the three games I really want to play more than anything, but I've been holding off because I want to do them all with you guys. And because Final Fantasy 7 has been such a huge thing on the channel, I usually stick with Final Fantasy 7 for a while, and then I want to take a break from Final Fantasy, so I do something like this. 
and then I go back to Final Fantasy 7, so I never do get to doing like 4, 5, and 6, but we will. We will definitely do a full Let's Play of those three games at some point on this channel, so if you're looking forward to me finally stop being a noob in terms of 4, 5, and 6, that will happen at some point. Oh yeah, big damage. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Well, 6 is like... If I had to make a list of the, the top games I want to play, Final Fantasy 6 is number 1. If I were to make a list of the top things I want to Let's Play, Legend of the Gaia would be 1, and then 6. But, uh... In terms of just wanting to play it... Six is my most wanted to play game, and it has been for a while. But the time is not right, not yet. But it will be. Don't kill Marley, please. What's funny is I know a lot about uh, all the games in the series, even if I haven't played them, just because I've known the fan base for so long. I know that 4 is really good, I know that 5 is kind of the black sheep, and I know 6 is incredible. Um, I know Kefka is like one of the most beloved villains of all time, and even one, what was it, IGN had that weird, or it was either IGN or GameStop, had that villain tournament where everyone voted on their favorite villains, and Kefka actually won it, I think. Actually, I think Kefka came in like second, I think the woman from... Starcraft actually won it. The spider lady from Starcraft. Is she a spider lady? Um, but yeah. Uh, the only one that I played a lot is 5. I played it as a kid. Um, and I got like halfway through it and then quit. But I played a good amount of it. And it's funny because a lot of people say 5 is the black sheep. And I loved 5. Like I thought it was amazing. It reminded me so much of uh, Hamlet, which is my favorite Shakespeare play. I'm not gonna say why, but it did. <laughs> and uh, I love, I loved all the dialogue in it. The combat was good. The music was good. I liked everything about that game. It's been so long since I played it, but I remember loving it a lot. I wasn't avoiding the Shakespeare spoilers, I was uh, avoiding the Final Fantasy V spoilers, because if I talked about Shakespeare, then you'd probably know what happened in V, because you would know Shakespeare. Damn. Can you stop that? Chryso with gifted sub to GD Chris. GD Chris, welcome back for the third month, my man. Enjoy your brand new blue materia badge. You have absolutely earned it, dude. Don't die. pick up and throw his legs? That seems a little silly. How's it going, take me to your leader? We are pretty far in the game. We're doing side quests right now. That apparently lead to, like, the final boss, but I don't actually know that for sure, but it seems like it does. 
so we're pretty far. Yeah, we got the legs! Alright. Now please kiss Marley right now before bad things happen. And it's happening. Bad things are happening. If I die now, I'll be real upset. Alright, I'm gonna try to wait until he attacks to throw this revive in hopes that I'll have enough time to revive, like, heal Marley before she dies again. I need him to attack Ayla, like, right now. That's not good. I'm gonna try reviving Chrono because he might actually be able to survive a hit. Maybe. If he just spams this, then we're probably in big trouble. Wow, he actually took more damage. Yeah, we're in trouble. That sucks that Marley died right as the legs died. I couldn't use that attack before. That's what I needed from you. No. I need you to do that now. <laughs> do that right now. Yes! Okay, perfect. There we go. Lucky, lucky. Took us a little bit of luck, but we got it. She lived. Dang, that counter! Get wrecked. At least Fiona will be happy. I'm glad someone's happy. I'm almost dead. Yeah, the counter attack helped so much in that fight because I didn't have to up his defense by attacking him. I could just let the counter attack do the work. And just stay alive instead. Now I just gotta get out of here. So many good items down here. <laughs> 